Good morning. Today's lesson is chapter 11, lesson 11. Today we are going to be working with problem solving, comparing volumes. Our essential question, how can you use the strategy make a table to compare different rectangular prisms with the same volume? Let's unlock the problem. Adam has 50 one inch cubes. The cubes measure one inch on each edge. Adam wonders how many rectangular prisms, each with a different size base, that he could make with all of the one inch cubes. Let's use the graphic organizer below or on the next page to help solve the problem. First, what do I need to find out? Well, I need to find the number of rectangular prisms, each with a different size base, that have a volume of 50 cubic inches. What do I need to use? I can use the formula V equals L times W times H, which is length times width times height, or V equals B times H, which is, which is base times height. And the factors that I'm going to need are the factors of 50. So how will I use the information? I will use the formula and the factors of 50 in a table that shows all of the possible combinations of the dimensions with a volume of 50 cubic inches without repeating the, the dimensions of the base. So let's do that. So as you can see here, we have one times one with a height of 50. So one times one times 50 equals 50. So if I make the base one times two and my height is 25, then I'm gonna have one times 22 times the height of 25 in order to get 50. This chart's gonna keep going. One times five, if my height is 10, then one times five times 10 is gonna be 50. One times 10 times five is gonna be 50. One times 25 times the height of two is gonna be 50. So I'm using all my factors of 50. One times 50, my height can only be one in order for it to continue to be 50. So if I'm gonna continue down this path, if my base was two times five, so my, my square was two times five, then my height would have to be five in order for me to have 50. So that would be two times five times my height of five, which equals 50. Now if my base was two times 25, then my height would have to be one, because two times 25 is already 50, right? So that would be 2 times 25 times the height of 1, which equals 50. So let's look at my next one. If my height was 5, or my base was 5 times 5, then my height would have to be 2. Because 5 times 5 is 25 times 2 is 50. Right? So 5 times 5 times 2 equals 50. And then if my base were 5 times 10, well, that's already 50. So again, my height cannot be any higher than 1. So I would have 5 times 5, or 5 times 10, which is 50, times 1, um, would continue to be 50. So what else do you need to solve the problem? Well, you need, whoops, let me get that one out of there. <laughs> it's all messing up. Ah. There we go. I need to use the table, put this back. All right, I need to use the table to count the number of rectangular prisms that can be made from 50 one-inch cubes. How many, how many prisms with different bases can Adam make? Well, if you count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it looks like he can make 10 rectangular prisms. Let's try another problem. Mrs. Wilton is planning a rectangular flower box for her front window. She wants the flower box to hold exactly 16 cubic feet of soil. How many different flower boxes, all with whole number dimensions and different size bases, will hold exactly 16 cubic feet of soil? Use the graphic organizer below to help you solve the problem. Okay, so what do I need to find out? Well, I need to find the number of different rectangular flower boxes, each with a different size base that can hold exactly 16 cubic feet of soil. What information do I need to use? The flower box is a rectangular prism. The formula for the volume of a rectangular prism is volume equals length times width times height. 
or volume equals base times height. The exact volume of a rectangular prison must be 16 feet cubed. Okay. How will I use the information? I will, use the inf I will use the volume formula and the factors of 16 in a table that show all of the possible combinations of dimensions with a volume of 16 cubic feet. If it were inches, it'd be cubic inches, but because we happen to be working in feet up here, that's what we're working with. So now let's solve the problem. Let's bring out the table. So here's the table that shows you all of the different factors. That makes 16. So if I'm looking at this, I have one times, so if my base, and the, remember the base is, let me get a drawing board here. The base of a rectangular prism is simply the bottom, right? So it's the length, it's the width times the length. This is your base, okay? Oops. This is your base. All right, I tried to draw the cube here as best I could, but not very well. So this is my base. So if I take my base, which is width times length, and then I multiply it times the height, then I get the volume of it. But we're trying to find different bases and different heights. So as you can see here, if I have a base of 1 and 1, and my height is 16, then I still get 16. If I have a base of, the next one says 1 times 2, so if my base is 1 times 2, then my height has to be 8 in order for it to be 16, because I need the end result of my numbers to be 16 because that's how many cubic feet it is. So if I'm looking at this one, if my base is 1 times 4, so it would be 1 times 4. 1 times 4 is 4, and we know 4 times 4 is 16, so then my height would have to be 16. So if I did that all the way down, I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 different um, flower boxes. So the answer is nine flower boxes would give me 16 cubic feet. So let's share and show. Mr. Price makes cakes for special occasions. His most popular sized cake have a volume of 360 cubic inches. The cake ha has a height or thickness of three inches and has different whole number lengths and widths. No cake can have a length or width of one or two inches. How many different cakes will each different size base? have a volume of 360 cubic inches. So first you have to think about what the problem is asking you. You solve and the information that you are given. Next, make a table using the information from the problem. Then use the table to solve the problem. So just like we did before, and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you, hopefully you can pause the video, try it on your own, and then I want you to come back and check for your answer. All right, you've paused the video. Okay, so all of the cakes, remember all of the cakes had to have a height of three, and the answer is six cakes, and here are the different sizes. Uh, three times 40 times three, four, your base would be three times 40 in the height of three, your base would be four times 30 in a height of three, your base would be five times 24, because remember your height is set at three, six times 20, and your height is set at three, eight times 15, because your height is set at three, and 10 times 12, because again, your height is set at three. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six possible cake suggestions. So you're gonna do the on your own, on your own. You may also work with a partner or I will be on the carpet if you need any assistance. Good luck.